Hello friends, in the previous session we have just introduced ourselves to the uh, capacitors and I have already told you that capacitors and inductors uh, will be explained in only the circuit point of view. In case you want to know the actual theory of the working of the capacitor or the energy storage which happens in the inductor in a much detailed form, uh, you can refer to the other YouTube videos or you can go to a book on field theory. They will be explained in a much better way and I think you have learned in your basic course also. because. In this course, I don't want to uh, put more information inside uh, your minds because we have to understand more than the beauty of the inductor, of how it works. We have to also understand the proper circuit point and the passive sign conventions. Therefore, uh, in the future when we do a machines course, we can go in depth for in the uh, working and the nature of the inductors. All right? So we will be just concentrating inductors in the circuit point of view. So we have to first define the ideal inductor, right? The ideal inductor model. Okay, so basically the symbol will look like this. So it is a coil of wire, all right? So inductor is basically a coil and the inductance value, you know that it is having this formula, right? Okay, into A. Okay, so the inductance is, perp uh, the inductance which has a unit of Henry, it's proportional to the permeability it is proportional to the uh, turns per unit length and it is of course proportional to the total number of turns and the area of cross section of the helix all right so this is the inductance which i am representing it by the unit l and the unit is henry and uh, if this is the current flow il the voltage polarity will be like this so this is the passive sign convention so please remember this properly this is the passive sign convention of the inductor all right so what is the equation governing the inductor current voltage relationship so next one is the voltage versus current relationship right so the equation is vl is equal to l d into il by dt okay now i have already told you this voltage and current can be functions of time of course they are functions of time so vl of t is equal to l into d il of t divided by dt okay now let us take some uh, interesting outputs from this particular equation all right now let us take the first case if il is a constant if il is a constant that means dil by dt will be equal to 0 because the differentiation uh, differential of a constant is equal to 0 that means vl of t will be equal to 0 now if vl across an element is equal to 0 it means that it is actually a short circuit right See, this is the inductor and I am telling that this is 0 volt. So in which case this is a 0 volt? In this case it is a 0 volt, right? When you have a short circuit. That means if you have a constant current through the inductor, alright? So if you have a constant current, I would say constant current through the inductor, VL is equal to 0. That means for a DC current, it is a short circuit. So the inductor, so I'll just summarize it here. So inductor behaves as a short circuit for DC. This is the first point. All right. Now let us see the second thing what we can take from here. Second thing. Now let us think that I want to change the value of IL instantaneously. All right. So what is I am telling is that I am having a finite value of delta i, delta i is the change in il at delta t tends to 0. That means I am doing an instantaneous change. Now if that condition is there, you can clearly see from the above equation, this equation, if delta t tends to 0, okay, vl of t is tending to infinity, alright. This condition is not possible, it is not possible. Because for this you need infinite amount of energy and an inductor cannot supply infinite amount of energy, right? So, or there is no source which can supply infinite amount of energy. That means from this what we can understand is that in an inductor you cannot have instantaneous changes in current. Just like a capacitor cannot have instantaneous changes in voltage, an inductor cannot have instantaneous changes in current. So, inductors cannot have 
instantaneous changes in current all right so let us do a little bit of uh, derivation now in the next portion so i hope you have understood the two points the inductor behaves as a short circuit for dc and the inductor will not allow an instantaneous changes in current all these properties are very important now let us take the equation vl of t was equal to l dil of t divided by dt right okay so let's take the integral uh, dil of t will be equal to 1 by l and uh, vl of t okay into dt let us take the integration of both sides so integral dil of t is equal to 1 by l integral vl of t dt okay let me start my experiment at t0 and i am going to t1 so this is from t0 to t1 this is also from t0 to t1 okay so what do i get here i will get il of t1 minus il of t0 is equal to 1 by l integral of t0 to t1 v of l t dt okay now why i am not integrating this is because i don't know the function of vl right vl can be anything so il of t1 that means this is the point of my observation is equal to 1 by l integral t0 t1 vl of t dt plus il of t0 now it's a very interesting equation what does that mean when i am trying to analyze my circuit at t1 the current at t0 is also playing a factor there that means the current at t1 is also a fu function of the current at t0 now this is because of this integration thing coming here because any integration is associated with memory so an inductor can remember current so i have already told you the inductor cannot instantaneously change its current value right all these points will become much clearer when we do actual problems in transient analysis which will be coming soon so let us just summarize the inductors and capacitors so inductors and capacitors right so this is the inductor symbol capacitor symbol this is ic this is the passive sign convention this has c this is like this and this is vl is equal to l di l by dt in this case ic was equal to c dvc by dt okay from this equation what did we get the inductor acts as a short for dc and second is that the inductor cannot have instantaneous changes in current similarly we learned that the capacitor okay is an open circuit for dc okay and the capacitor cannot have instantaneous changes in voltage okay that means this is having a memory for current the capacitor is having a memory for voltage the unit is henry inductance and the capacitance unit is farad all right i hope you have enjoyed this lecture and i am uh, seeing that many of you are liking my uh, lectures other than this subjects about competitive exams and how to recover from failure and all those lectures i am very happy and i am very happy that i am getting a lot of doubts from you people also and uh, recently we crossed 100 subscribers and for that also i am very much helpful to uh, thankful to you and uh, it has been always my passion to teach and to help the uh, people who are preparing for competitive exam that is the aspirants okay so i love to help you people and i hope that uh, more and more questions will come from you please like share and subscribe this video because this keeps motivating me a lot and uh, let's see in the next lecture thank you